Our contractor sent us a photo yesterday. It's not looking good. Hey everyone, it's Arvin. Okay, nobody asked, but we are headed back to the house this morning. It's super early, it's almost 7 a.m. And we are going to see what happened with the ceiling. We actually got it sandblasted yesterday. They started yesterday. And we had some reservations about getting the ceiling sandblasted because when I talked about it on Instagram, another mid-century homeowner sent me photos of like their home that got blasted and it was completely ruined. Sandblasting is basically this like, like a machine that sprays little particles of sand onto the wood or a surface and it will expose, you know, kind of take off all of the paint. But this person on Instagram was like, don't do it. It's going to ruin your ceiling. It's going to eat away at the wood. And I guess they were trying to sell their home at the time and it didn't sell because of what happened to their ceiling. And you can see in these photos, it's really, really bad. So we were like, honestly going back and forth. And that's why a few weeks ago, Andrew and I actually tried to do the ceiling and the beam Strip ourselves it. just by stripping it with, you know, a, ooh, hello sun, good morning. <laughs> just by using a paint stripper. And brute force. And brute force, and <laughs> you guys, we couldn't do it. I mean, we tried, Andrew really went at that beam. It, it was just like the fumes were getting to me and my asthma started acting up. After going back and forth with our, is he a contractor, our sandblasting guy? Yeah, he's a subcontractor. He was reassuring us that, you know, he can go down to a setting that won't eat away at the wood. Oh, this coat is like, kind of bugging me. It's so cold here in LA right now. The only way I can get my dream ceiling is if we get it sandblasted. Now, another reason why we were kind of like, mm, should we do it? Should we not do it? It's really an expensive project. It's the whole entire ceiling. Like, I can't just do the interior. I have to do the exterior as well because our home, when, you, when you're when you inside, you can see, like, you can literally see everything because of all the glass. But I think we made the right choice. We are headed there right now. I already know that when we go into the house today, I'm just going to be like, walking into a brand new house. Are you ready to see the ceiling? And... Okay, should I look? Not yet. Keep Not coming. Yet. No, watch the floors. There's there's a whole bunch of I know, poses. I see all the sand. Oh hold my on, god. Hold on, hold on. It's so sandy in here. Hold on. All right, ready to open it up? Yeah. Come on. Should I look? No, not yet. Oh. Keep coming, keep coming. You gotta open the sliding glass doors with your hand so I can get in there first. Okay. Okay, just oh my extend God. your hand. Wait, there's so much sand. Keep going. Oh my God. Okay, now okay. you can look. It is so sandy, okay. Now you can look. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, look at the hallway. Wait, you have to see, you have to see the light. Oh my God, look at the bathroom. Oh my God, what do you think? It looks like a new house. Dang, look at all that sand. You guys, my asthma is quaking right now. Your office hasn't been finished either. Oh, really? No. That's strange. I thought they would have started here. No, I guess they, they started in the hallway. Because it was too moist. Oh, that makes sense. We knew that we were gonna have to sand down a little bit of that texture. I, honestly though, the texture doesn't, yeah, so like it doesn't bother me at all. Black. But just a little bit of sanding. We'll get rid, you, I think you can see on camera, it's kind of like hazy looking. Um, it's all the texture that got like pulled out of the wood after you hand sand that a little bit 
It should all even out. Mask is on. Asthma is getting triggered. We did find something that is not really that good. So there are some few areas that need to be patched right there, if you can see. They just patched it with, <laughs> I don't even know what that is. We are at Target because <laughs> we need some socks. You guys, it is so cold right now in LA. There's like a blizzard warning and I don't have any warm socks. Okay, we found the socks. These are our favorites for everyday socks, but I'm trying to find if they have one that's like a little bit thicker, you know, for winter. We always check the Casa Luna aisle to see if they have anything brand new. And I feel like every time we get disappointed because they have nothing new out ever. It's like they put out the one collection and it's like done. Um, oh, actually, no, this is, is this new? It's like a cotton chambray. That's very pretty. The texture is quite lovely, actually. It looks like parachute. Casa Luna, let's collaborate. Let's make something new. Oh, the gray charcoal is also really nice. Yeah, I love this. Actually, I really love that for summer. How fun are these little lamps? So modern. Oh, they're renovating. Same, we're also renovating. I don't see Studio McGee. Shay, Shay McGee, where are you? Hi, Shay. I found her, you guys. Oh, this green chair is actually not bad. This is interesting too, this like cement, cast cement looking side table. It looks like Pavo Tynel. It yeah. looks like um, it looks like one of our lamps. Yeah, but it has like a more like the it, the shade is more angular. Yeah. Like it has facets. Yeah, that's very pretty. This is quite nice. This is very like CB2, very Crate and Barrel candle holder, almost like a plaster texture. It's actually really nice. The shape is is nice and substantial. We are back at the house. Our contractor sent us a photo yesterday. It's not looking good. There's something wrong with one of the beams. Okay. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> the photos that were sent to us yesterday, the light was kind of shining up from underneath and it was showing all of this like texture from this beam. I can't really show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera. <laughs> they left. <laughs> they left tamales in here. Good for them. Look at them having their lunch. <laughs> I was not expecting to find tamales in my microwave at like seven o'clock in the morning. I was trying to heat up my coffee. So here we have another terrible patching job by the flipper. I'm gonna stop calling her the seller. I'm gonna call her the flipper. <laughs> Hello. It's been a few days now since we got the ceiling sandblasted. It's complete. We've been sleeping here for a few days now and just getting settled back in, I couldn't film the very last part of the process. There was just too much going on, but I've shown you bits and pieces and clips earlier in the video. Now I want to show you kind of most of the spaces, how it's looking like, things that we have to address because we're not done yet. This is a very lengthy, it's a very lengthy project. Let's go. here in the atrium and I want to show you the worst thing to happen first <laughs> with <laughs> bless you Mr. Marble bless you Mr. Marble so one of the worst things that we hey <laughs> Sage please I'm trying to film <laughs> 
we knew there was going to be a lot of damage here outside in the atrium beams because of weather and you know rain. This house is old, but we didn't expect it to be this bad. I mean, the wood is rotten. It is rotten. There's so much bondo, and I don't even know how we can stain it in a way that camouflages all of the repairs. So we're gonna have to talk to our contractor. I don't I don't know what to do. The rest of the TG <laughs> The rest of the TG is not bad, but let's head on inside. looks. The wood adds so much warmth. It's making the ceiling glow and it's so cozy. Now, I've talked about the fireplace on Instagram and how it's not really my favorite. It's not the best shade of brown. It's like a tile and a lot of you actually love the fireplace. Like when I talked about changing it, everyone was like, don't change it, don't change it. But we were actually thinking of removing the fireplace. <laughs> okay, no, I'm just kidding. Um, we thought about different things. We thought about restoring it to the original cinder block, and it's just, I, I just know it's not gonna fit my style or Andrew's style. It's gonna feel heavy in the space. Now that we have all this wood, this big brown monolithic fireplace is just too much. Sage! He's what are you doing? You are a big troublemaker, Mr. Sage. Let's move on to the TV room, which is right over here. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that we couldn't just do the interior ceiling, it had to be the exterior as well, because you can see in certain angles, the ceiling, like, continues to the outside. So this idea of like, con oh! <laughs> Andrew almost stepped on stage. This idea of continuity was really important to us. Now, I also know that this project is not for everybody. We are essentially stripping away the newness and the modern element of like white paint on the walls and essentially we are showing the age of the house. I think we did it. I mean the wood looks so great. How does it look on camera? It looks really good. I mean it looks really really good. You know we're not done yet. We have to basically hand finish the ceiling and it's 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 gonna be a lot of work we have contractors coming back in tomorrow to um, start finishing the space. And you can kind of see like there's a lot of variation. There's like blonde wood um, next to more of like the darker wood. So- And it's redwood, tongue and groove, and it's pine beams. Correct. So one of the things that I mentioned to our contractors who specialize in like staining wood is I kind of want to unify the tones and the colors as much as I can and have them stain these blonder wood pieces so that it matches the whole ceiling. I know it's not going to be perfect, I just, I want it to feel more cohesive. I just want it to be like one unified color. Um, I know it's not going to be perfect in the end, but that's kind of the goal. So let's move on to the kitchen. I feel like we're doing a, a brand new house tour. feeling room only because we have one window here one window here and you know we also have a mahogany wall here so everything is feeling very cozy and like cocoon like 
I'm not mad about it, but I actually just thought of this this morning. What if we put a skylight up here? Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. But I feel like a skylight like behind this beam would add just a lot of light into the kitchen, but from, you know, from the vantage point of like that side of the house, the skylight will be like a little bit hidden thanks to the beam. Um, so that just popped up in my head this morning. Otherwise, the kitchen is actually fine. We're gonna be working on renovating it like way, way later in the year because, um, you know, we do want to change the layout a little bit, but let me... Let's go into the primary bedroom because I feel like you're gonna see the most impact here. It looks amazing, you guys. I just, I feel like the ceiling too is the most uniformed here in the bedroom. It's been really, really lovely waking up to this cozy warmth of the wood. I want to bring you into Andrew's office and oh, we can't stay in here too long, it's very dusty. I'm gonna just start coughing and sneezing, but I want to show you Andrew has been doing such a good job in here with hand sanding the beam. So let's pan up to this side that hasn't been sanded yet. And you can see the hazy texture, a lot of variation. And if you pan over to this side, it looks really, really great. He hand sanded it. It took out most of the texture. It's not gonna be perfect, but you know, we weren't expecting perfection in this project. We just wanted wood. We wanted lots and lots of wood and it's looking great. So this is the next step. It's gonna be hand sanded, stained, and sealed, so it'll be super pretty and super cohesive. But now let's get out of here. Oh. It's getting to be a lot. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that we have to figure out pretty soon is the new paint color for the walls. I know, it, the walls right now look fine. They're super white but I find that when I'm decorating, it's almost too white. Like it's very stark and very bright. It almost has a blue undertone in certain lighting. So I ordered some samples from Samplies. They essentially send you this like sticker with, they send you these stickers with paint samples on them. This sample here is Simply White by Benjamin Moore. It's my go-to white paint. And you know what? We loved it in our Vegas home, but there's almost no difference. It's slightly warmer than the wall color now, but I still feel like it might be too bright. So I'm actually like into this color here. This is Acadia White by Benjamin Moore. It might be a little too beige yellow. I feel like I need something like one shade lighter, but same exact tone. All of these other colors are reading a little too like gray for my liking. This is Swiss coffee, this is cloud white, and this is white dove. I also wanted to have like a super gray color just so I have like a point of reference. This is Fossil by Benjamin Moore. But you know, if you're painting a room, I recommend getting samples like these because you can actually just peel it off and you can put it in different rooms, see how it reacts to the light. And that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm, I'm seeing how it reacts to, you know, the different light sources, how it looks like in the daytime, how it looks like in the afternoon. But let me know if you have like a favorite beigey white color, paint color. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love, I'd love to check that out. I'm gonna order more samples, but we're, we're gonna be like in this, this color family for the walls. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. We have a long way to go 
before we can even put furniture back in. And you guys, I miss my furniture so much. Make sure you sound off in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the ceiling so far. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and don't go yet. Watch this last video and catch up if you haven't already and I will see you in that video. Bye everyone.